What's going on everybody? So today I'll be installing new things on my car and it's gonna be a huge difference for my car since I've been talking about in other videos how they're bad. My current OEM ones are bad. So I decided to order new ones. And what I ordered is in this box right here. And I did make an unboxing video for it, but I accidentally formatted my SD card and the whole, all the footage got messed up. I mean, not messed up, but it got deleted. So this is pretty much another unboxing video, but it's already been opened apart and I'm just gonna show you guys what it is and what's inside. As you can see, it does say Willwood. Most of you guys that know what Willwood is, it is a brake company. I ordered a new Willwood uh, four pot pistons. For the fronts, it's just with the brake pads because I don't need the rotors. These calipers are drag bolt on and you're able to use your OEM style rotors. And I currently have EBC rotors. There, there we go. Will with four pot piston calipers. Direct bolt on. I ordered these because my OE pistons on my current calipers are messed up. And they're starting to get really bad right now on my driver's side, so I decided my switch is upgrade instead of just getting new calipers or new OEM or rebuild the OEM calipers. So I decided to just put money down and buy the wheel with uh, four pots, which I'll be putting to the test at Auto Club Speedway on September 24th for VTEC Club. So I'm excited for this. Well, I'm not sure if you guys want to see a video of me check out my car again because I've done so many like that so I'm just gonna get the car off the ground and show you guys how to replace your calipers and bleeding brakes that will have to wait um because I have no one that could help me pump the brakes and bleed the brakes if you guys have ever done it before I go wait till three o'clock uh for my friend Ronaldo the one that gathers EK hatch to come through to help me bleed my brakes and right now it is 10 o'clock so I'm just doing it right now because it's gonna be hot as fuck later time to jack up the car take out the old calipers put the new ones on all right so the wheels off and I turn the wheel to the left to do this side so what you're gonna do is of course remove the brake pads first so take off this bottom bolt which is a 12 and another 12 right here and after that you take off the brake pads behind these brackets are um, two 17 millimeters they're they're holding the whole caliper in which is this bracket right here this bracket bracket there's two 17s behind there and then this right here is the brake line which you want to unplug uh, most of the time what people do is they pinch off the line and then take off the uh, bolt so not that much uh, fluid drains out but I am bleeding my brakes all four corners so I don't really care about how much brake fluid I lose or air getting in because I am replacing my dot three to dot four since the calipers are able to take up to dot four and dot five I think. I'm gonna take those off real quick and then put the new caliper in and for the caliper I am reusing my OEM brake line hoses. I didn't get stainless steel, not right now and it's a little pricey too so I will be reusing my OEM uh, brake lines and bleeding and all like that so here's this I guess a time-lapse of me taking it off and then once it gets to the caliper I'll show you guys how to bolt it back on I mean most of you guys probably done brakes before it's really simple it is bleeding brakes does take some time Uh, they come with new 19 millimeter washers. I mean, 19 millimeter bolts or three forts, whatever. What do you want to call it? I'm just tightening it right now. And 
Wow, I would say they look pretty fucking nice. So these are my EBC rotors. They're pretty much OEM size. This is different. Oops, whatever. Um, now I just gotta take out this Allen key, pull this bar out, and then put the um, the pads in that they give you. And then the brake line, I will put that in right after. Well, wood brake pads. So you can see that it uses dot three, dot four, dot five. But I'm going to be using dot four. That's why I'm taking all the brake fluid out. Someone experienced that is not me. The only thing I hate about these um, calipers is you can only use these ones. And I think they have other types, but you can only use these pads. So you can't go to AutoZone or anything and buy these. You have to order them online. So I might just order like, like two sets or something and just put them on the side just in case. And I need an Allen key right now. All right, I got the calipers in. You gotta take this bolt off. I don't think it was fucking recording. I'll think about it. And then pull it out, slide it, and slide the pads in. And then they go in between these um, holes. And it goes back and then put the hex nut back in. I just checked if these ones were tight too. Because this one was loose. But they're tight. It's holding the caliper together. And... Damn, they look pretty fucking gangster. Or sick, I mean. And now I'm gonna put the brake line back on. Uh, by peeling out the sticker first. Right, so I'm gonna put the brake line back on and they did give new hardware for the back of it. Oh shit, I don't know where I put it. This is probably shot on potato quality because I changed my fucking, using my old power shot. On. Yeah. I'm gonna put the rim back on to see uh, what it looks like and if it, if it clears the calipers because they fuck they stick out a lot even with the one inch spacer they stick out a lot you can't really see it There is the final product. Uh, 
Everything's unbolted in. Now I just have to uh, actually go buy a wrench for this because this bleeder screw is one fourth, which is fucking small. This one right here, one fourth. And then I need to go pick up some dot four brake fluid because I accidentally bought dot three yesterday like an idiot. But I'm gonna go there right now and then bleed the brakes when Ronaldo comes, so. Yep, so I am back from Home Depot and um, O'Reilly's. Went to go pick up the four brake fluid. And uh, I'll be using this only temporarily because I will be switching over to Motel brake fluid. And then I had to go to Home Depot to buy a one fourth wrench. That is the bleeder screw, uh, bleeder valve outside. And this is one fourth tubing. And I wonder if it fits. Perfect. Oh, this the whole thing, but I got the tubing so it, the, what is it? When you're bleeding the brakes, it doesn't, it doesn't get all over the calipers and it'll be a lot uh, cleaner too, not messy. And I'm just gonna drain it onto a pan. And I'm still waiting for Ronaldo right now. It is three, I think almost 3.30, so he's, he's a bit late, but if he shows up, he shows up. If he doesn't show up, he doesn't show up. So, I didn't record me bleeding the brakes, but the brakes are bled. What you do is start on the far right corner, or the furthest away from the uh, brake cylinder, which is, of course, the passenger rear, and then you move over to the driver's side rear, and then you move over to the passenger front, then the passenger, I mean, driver's side front. And bleeding, it went smooth, but I would just went for a test drive. The brakes, they fucking stop. They really actually feel, I feel a huge difference compared to the OEM calipers. I'll probably make a full in-depth review in my car with the new, um, what is it? New rig I got, so we'll probably do that. But for now, I need to go take a shower, and it is really hot, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I still need to make an exhaust video because a lot of you guys still want it. I will do a full in-depth about my exhaust, and I understand it sounds like a fart cannon. A lot of people have been commenting, but who gives a fuck? At least my exhaust is like, and exhaust it works so yeah here's the last um this video of the calipers yeah the oem calipers on the ex's are 10 inch so they're pretty kind of small but overall they stop on a fucking dime so peace